people don't have imaginary fights and take it out on other people. Because one time I was taking a shower and then I was like, oh, imagine if I was in a third world country on a business trip and a fucking van pulls up. Why is it all sexual right now? You're like, ooh, imagine. Because I'm still, I still got a shower. I'm in the shower. You were going like, slow. Imagine. You're like, ooh. Because he's gonna be like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be like, circles. You're like, yeah, imagine yeah. with the yeah. fucking third world country. There were too many circles. <laughs> if it was just straight lines, I think it would yeah, have been yeah, sexual. Yeah. It was like, imagine <laughs> when the fucking van <laughs> and a fucking van pulls up <laughs> and a bunch of naked bitches came out and they were trying to suck my dick. I was like, oh. wow. <laughs> so, so yeah, I was in my head and I was thinking, a van pulls up fucking slides the door open and then I imagine the van door sliding so I slide and open my shower door with the shower fucking running and I got out and I started like doing fucking karate and before I knew it I was in the middle of my room with fucking water all still on what? me and then like I'm just like you just oh, fucking fuck. crazy so I had to go back in the shower that's what kids do <laughs> <laughs> but I was furious. I was mad. The van door slided and my shower door slided and I got into the van and I was like this and I was like oh, naked. Fuck naked. Yeah, naked with fucking soap and water just still on me. And I went into my bedroom and I was like, Dah! and I was fucking fighting it out and I was like fucking dick all flapping out of shit. <laughs> and I was like soap everywhere. Yeah, I was like, oh fuck. And I went back into the shower and I finished up. You see that's a that's a good did you see what you just did? You went like this. Finished up. Yeah, because I came back to reality, but I think I think that's what girls will go through in their mind when they fight. It just doesn't come out. It's the counterattack. I think it's more closely to what I brought up. Yeah, about. it's yeah. him. Yours is what Isaac does. You know what you're dealing with, Joe. Yeah. 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 Your shit's insane, Joe. It's like you're sleepwalking during the day. Like that's like you're happening. Like that's what's happening. Yeah. So it's a lot closer to what Bar says. So, so for me, it's like. Um, I, I do have that internal fight, but have you guys ever been caught in a lie by your parents? All yeah, the time. I'm sure. Yeah, but they beat but like, my ass though. Did they ever do any like drastic measures? They don't they don't have the brains to do anything like that. They're they just beat my ass. My dad caught me stealing in fifth grade. And uh, at that time I, I really thought he backstabbed me. But I realize now that my dad was just in on the joke like he was. So I told my dad to drop me off at like uh, I think it was like Savon's or Rite Aid or something like that. Because I just wanted to jack a bunch of pencils and stuff. I go on there, I jack a bunch of those mechanical pencils and those mechanical erasers. I stuff my entire pockets. I come back out, my dad takes me to McDonald's. And uh, I go, hey dad, can you just order me my food? I'm gonna go take a piss. I go in the bathroom and I start unpackaging everything because my pockets were bulgy. For some reason, my dad had an instinct and he comes in and he looks at my, like me unwrapping all my pencils and stuff. He goes, what the fuck? And he shakes the shit out of him. He's like, we're gonna fucking return this shit and we're gonna call the fucking cops. And I was like, what? No, dad, no, no, no. He grabs me, throws me in the truck, and drives me back to uh, Savon's. And then he goes, this motherfucker stole from your store. And then, and then the, the guy that was working there was like, okay, just, just give it back. He goes, no, call the police. Call the police on him. He's a criminal. And he's like, no, 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 it's, it's, it's okay. So just, just give the stuff back, and I'll, I'll report it to my manager. Like, no, call the police. Call him right now. Call 911 right now. And I was just like, no, 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 I don't want to go to jail. But then it didn't really teach me a lesson, because I still kept stealing later on. But then I felt like... Any other kid that wasn't as bad as me would have learned at that time. Mm. I was just an extreme. You're just stubborn as fuck. Yeah, was... It took more than that. Yeah. You had to actually be inside jail for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. In the scared straight program. Like he'll have like his heart will be irregular. He goes, that's a bitch inside of me right now. <laughs> <laughs> like the way he deals with things is not human. That's true. You know when I was uh, me and Joe we were learning uh, backflips at, at UCLA the the gymnastics room. And then, uh, so they're saying you gotta do like a, at least a hundred backflips in the beginning to get a muscle memory where you can just do it like, like uh, second nature. So I was, I, I was counting the, the times that I was doing them and then I was up to 50 at, at, like over a course of three weeks. And then one of them, I went up and I just bailed. So when you go up and I didn't have full commitment, when I came down, my foot went straight into the floor like this. It, it, it hit the floor and I heard cracking noises and my foot swelled up and turned purple immediately and then I had I was I was in tears because I, I didn't know at the time but I fractured uh, my foot in like I think like eight different places 
And then I was like, fuck, you wanna be a little fucking bitch right now? So I did uh, 10 more backflips. I'm, like, I'm not leaving until I do 10 more backflips. I did three of them and I couldn't stand on my right one anymore. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do them off my left leg. So I finished the rest off my left leg and I slowly tried to walk home. And then when I went to the doctor, they found out I had a fractured foot. Do you you see, probably made do it you worse. See, probably. Do you see how this man solves problems? It's a fucking caveman. <laughs> He's the guy that beats the computer if it doesn't turn on. <laughs> That's what he is. I always tell him, I'm like, we gotta think before we use brute strength, okay? So if something's jammed, most people be like, oh wait, what's stuck? He just goes, brah, 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 to try to take it out. It usually works. But you can't use a machine anymore, right? <laughs> no, everything else is demolished. Nothing is embarrassing to me, because I just tell that story like, oh my god, you know what the fuck happened? I shit myself the other day. <laughs> so I remember one time in college, I think I was sitting at like the lunch table or somewhere and I was trying to check out this girl, but I had sunglasses on. So I was like, so like my face is like right here, but then underneath the sunglasses I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> but then the girl started staring at me like all weird. And I was like, oh fuck, are my sunglasses see-through? So I went, I, went, <laughs> I went back to looking normal when she walked away. I pulled it off and I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> it's his prescription, it's his prescription glasses this whole time. <laughs> What if they're the ones that change and that like when you go outside to get dark and then when you go indoors like the you didn't even, then, yeah, yeah yeah you didn't even know stupid ass he had the old man flip kinds and he had to flip off and shit. <laughs> Did he, like, just, oh, shit. did he just look like a pervert? Like, they were just hipster glasses with no lens in them. 